Oh. The melee vanilla. Fox it on battlefield. Try talking again. Uh, melee. Okay. Uh, eh. still like kind of low, but I can actually hear myself now. So, <laughs> sorry. I thought the <laughs> thought the mic was just off. I'm like, all right, that's cool. All right, awesome. All right, looking like fat Goku. Stage control. Gonna finish up that stock. See, I always find. <sighs> I wish I watched more games between the two of these guys, simply because I know Battery DC learned so much from Steven, and I'm very curious to see uh, what he kind of took from his style. Yeah, I'd say both these guys uh, play very safe, um, close to the vest. Uh, I think they know what combos they prefer in the Fox Ditto, like Steven loves Thunder's combo. And John Luke also, they're like a fan of the Thunders combo, but is willing to follow it up with just like short up up air or like F tilt, you know. Some of you put Steven in a compromising position. Ooh. So he missed the running up smash there. Steven covering the ledge with down smash. He's going low. Ooh. That's a mangle. <laughs> Alright, two stocks one. And the, vol the volatile fox did a. Let's see if John Luke's able to pick this up. Alright. Game one. Where do they go next? Random? Yeah, that seems right. <laughs> nah. Yes, homies. Always playing forever. I don't know. Uh... I'm very curious about the stage preference between these two foxes because I think they're foxes that definitely benefit more from a stage like, I don't know, Yoshi Story or. Uh... Like FOD, uh, and then there are foxes that I prefer stadium or FD. That's a fat Goku finishing up the stock there. Ooh, beautiful drop down shine. See what I'm liking? <laughs> What I'm liking for Jean-Luc is that uh, when he knows that a fox is off stage, uh, he does like to use F tilt kind of as a uh, as a tool to protect himself, either to cover side B or to cover, you know, up B in the stage. Um, even missed uh, invincible left ledge dashes, uh, he's able to follow up with like an up air or back air uh, and kind of keep him off stage. Super high, oh no. <laughs> Parachute in and, and just barely missed it. So I noticed Steven's been doing a lot of high rising nares, just kind of like put up a little bit of a wall. That's yeah, looking uh looking like Steven having the upper hand here. It just doesn't look like John Link's been able to get any sort of combos going. Uh, you know, okay, occasional flubs, you know. But, you know, that'll happen. It is melee after all. Ooh. He read it. He read that. I'm uh, curious where they go. Game three. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get a random it again, maybe. Yeah, that works. Okay, Yoshi's. Alright. 
think Steven gonna be looking for a lot more just shield pressure with nares or drills on shield and then following up with shines. Ooh, beautiful tech. Lands on the Randall, getting back on the stage. Ah, missing that grab. Sean Luke's facing just, just outside of his typical game. And Steven King being very patient. Is willing to quit. Ooh! That's got him. That's also a got him. <laughs> Alright, back Goku up one stock against Battery DC. Right. See, what I'm loving from Steven is just, just waiting. He, he is playing surprisingly more patiently than I see typical Fox Dittos. Just waiting for each tech. Uh, typically, Jean Luc trying to tech in place to kind of mix him up, but with not much luck. Oh, is he gonna finish this? He does. John Luke being caught teching in place more often than I typically see him, but as opposed to Fox Tittos, which just wake up Shine, you know, probably get a little more mileage off of it. John Luke really needs to just get a, a nice combo going against Steven to even bring this back to one stock, but, you know, Steven just having a cover. Oh, or, uh, you know, that also works. <laughs> All right, but John Luke off it. No! A true tragedy. 